Hey people, I'm Matt and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my little trailer because I wanted to do something a little bit different this time and that trailer was a result of that. I really enjoyed making that trailer so I will probably make more of those in the future. Also, I think it must be much more interesting for you to watch because it's a little bit more different than the usual content I have on my channel. So let's get back on topic. If you want a full explanation of how to use this, you can follow along right now. And later I will go into the redstone. But let's start with the basic stuff. How to paint awesome paintings with this device. First of all, choose a color. You can choose all 16 colors. Let's say I want the blue color. And then you have to choose a shape. You can choose the circle, square or one of the custom shapes. I will tell about the custom shapes later, so let's choose the circle. And for that circle, we will need a size. So let's choose size number 4. And let's start painting. And that would look like this. Uh, it will paint wherever you stand on the canvas. Um, you have to stand on the canvas or just above the canvas. Uh, you can't be one block above, then it won't paint, so you have to be close to the canvas to paint anything at all. So let's say we want another color on that beautiful painting right there. We want uh, the, the red color. And then let's choose the square shape this time. And size number 2. That would look like this. And uh, one dot of this looks like this. You can make dots with every shape, size and color. So just stand still on one block. It will create a dot of any kind. And then again it will paint wherever you go. So let's say we think that it, this is very, very uh, ugly. So we want to make something else. Um, so we can clear the canvas with this button and then we can start using the custom shapes. The th first thing you want to do is to locate one of these three squares to build it in. And secondly you'll need to figure out how the shape should look like. When you're done with all that you can start placing down your shape with uh, the snow block. It has to be snow because it will indicate that you will use all 16 colors for your shape and then you can choose them from over here if you are not going to use snow you can paint with that uh, particular block so I've, if uh, I want the, the jungle wood for example I can really quickly place down a shape with that and uh, click on the reload button it's important to click on the reload button to refresh the shape otherwise it will use a old one so just click on that button to be sure when you want to paint with your new shape you'll need to start out by picking a color let's say I for example want the light blue color then you have to choose the shape here which is the custom shape number one which is the one with the snow over there and you can pick a size because the uh, machine cannot uh, resize it for you. You have to do it yourself within that square. And without anything else to do, you can go around, paint with your new shape. And as you can see, it's exactly the same, just in another color. And run around, paint, uh, do whatever you want. And when you're done with that, you can choose the other shape, the custom shape number two, the one with the locks and start painting with that and yes you can do that with every uh, block in the game and that's basically how the custom shapes work the last thing i want to talk about before going into the redstone is this hotbar menu click on the button and you'll receive the menu it's basically a menu taking use of your inventory i made a video about this a uh, long time ago um, Go check that out and uh, come back here and watch uh, the rest of the video because this is very awesome.
You can bring the menu with you on top of the canvas, so you don't have to go all the way over there to to click the buttons. Uh, let's say I want to change the color to to the green one, and then I want to go back to the main menu, and then I will choose the shape right there, and um, I'll choose the squared shape. And finally, the size also. Let's set that to size number three. And go back to the menu. And as you see, it works just fine. And um, I think it's very handy to have a menu like that uh, with you on top of this canvas. You can really quickly change the color of the brush you're using. And uh, I like it, so I thought I would implement it, but it's very sensitive when you scroll over the the menu like this. It can sometimes detect other colors while you are scrolling, uh, and that's a little bit inconvenient. But I thought it was very nice to have anyways, because you can just use the numbers on your keyboard. And then the moment we all have been waiting for, the redstone itself. There's not much to it, so I'll really quickly go through it all. Let's start over here. This huge segment is for the hotbar menu. Uh, this part here, the row of command blocks, will give the items in the hotbar when the menu is activated. For example, in the shapes menu, it will give you a snowball in here. It will give you a, a snow block and three slime blocks and a return to menu block. And it will do that with all of them, just with the items needed in that particular menu. And over here, it will uh, do an action when a slot is selected here. Um, for example, if we are in the menu 3 and the slot number 1, I think. Yeah, that is slot number 1. It will change the color score to 9, which tells uh, my system that I'm using the color number 9, so that would be cyan or gray, I think, something like that. Um, and it will do that with all the menus, it's same story with that. So I will re really quickly go over here. These command blocks will turn on and off the, the hotbar menu. This is the brush itself. This is the interesting part. It's using the new execute command. So let's say if you're using the, the square size 3 and uh, this one will be the let's see it's the color 7. So if you have the color 7 selected and you have the, uh, the square activated and the size 3 this command block will be Activate it every time this redstone turns on and we'll start painting with that uh, brush. And that's the same with all the others over here. All the shapes are stored. These six are the predefined shapes. And these two are the, uh, the custom shapes. So every time you reload your shape, it will be copied into here. And that's what these command blocks are doing this part right here will uh, copy the blocks onto the platform and those will color it in every color of the 16 colors if it's snow so this for example will not be colored because those will only color snow um, and that's why this is colored so this is the end of the video if you like the video please hit the like button and if you want more videos from me then please hit the subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm not posting videos on YouTube then please hit the follow button on Twitter and Facebook. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time.